Hey there everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to my Let's Play series. Today, I'm gonna play Bear With Me. It seems to be a bit of a detective story, in a noir kind of style. And we're here, now showing, with Xtreme Games as the uh, proprietor of this game, or the maker of this game. I look forward to seeing what it is. I was given this as a gift from a friend. And I thank them very much for this. And the music has stopped. Okay, well, let's just, um... I want to say continue, but... Let's get that new game going. I haven't actually started this yet, so... We'll end up seeing how, uh... How good Xtreme Games, uh... Bear With Me is gonna be. I look forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. Ooh. Oh, I went from noir to red. Very red. There was a murder that happened this evening. From the Frog Prince. What was that on the building? And now there's clocks or demon sigils or what? Miss, wake up. Please, wake, Please, up. wake up. Oh, it actually talks. I don't have to read it. You're a giraffe. You, lady, are a giraffe. Okay. So what do I got here? Just point and click, right? Pillow. Let's search the It's where pillow. I rest my pretty little head. She says everything. Okay, I don't have to read anything. This is my bed. There are many beds like this, but this one is mine. Yes, it is a nice bed. A very nice bed. Um, what's this? It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. Oh, so the birds and the bees is not exactly what you would think about. Oh, okay, well, let's just yes, check to that. Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Yeah, but the drawer. What's this? Oh, it's open. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. What is it? Fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Good idea, Ted. Oh, that must be the teddy bear. What's the colored pencils? An extensive collection of colored pencils I acquired over the years. The, it's all shades of gray. What it's a broken it? clock. Totally useless without the small hand. I see. So what about these? My collection of paintings. Mom said I could have any painting in the house for my room. It was a rigorous selection process. That lady is Since I'm paying for the view, you're... I might as well enjoy it. She's probably thinking you're crazy talking to nothing. It's filled with mysterious and magical things from the far corners Hi, of the Orient. Also toys and stuff. Orient? I just can't seem to find any time in my busy schedule to unpack properly. Okay, what about these glasses? They belong to my mom. She must have forgotten them in here when she was cleaning. Well, might as well take that. Yeah. Take them. I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. Hey, take what you can grab, right? Like this plant. I don't have a green thumb, like, at all. Well, I do now, but I was doodling with a green crayon last night. And then the thunder claps. I was doodling hey, with a Kate, green crayon. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. And a leaf falls at all the leaves. Ugh. It hung in there. Did I take the leaves? Really? Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. Toy. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. She's a toy. It seems you had a nightmare. Really? Oh, right. The, the thing. Uh, there was a fire. There was this fire and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me. Like I wasn't really there. 
Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you alright? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. Dun, dun, dun. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, oh. before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and Remember ask that, right? him to come along. He's retired she had like a now, but he voice. was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven, and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever <sighs> what? falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. I think I can find my brother. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask okay, him. Just Millie, because of your you. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. Hey, but for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The about reason what? I came all the way down here. Mm -hmm. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. Really? He's asking a lot of questions about you. <gasps> what man? We call him the Red Man. So there were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up. The officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city. Your city, miss, cowering in fear. Well, Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner no. have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. Wow. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon the as I can to come check boys. on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. Hmm. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Okay, Millie. Only because it's you. Let's go to the closet. I like how the drawers kind of popped out as well to become a staircase. Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be <laughs> neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. <laughs> she starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. Uh-huh. Oh, this is so noir! Fell on deaf ears again. <laughs> anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz. Uh -huh. I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does. Uh -huh. And I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. Okay. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. Is today any different? She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then they get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? The carrot juice? <laughs> Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know. I'm in for it again. 
The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. <laughs> Hi, Ted. I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. Your bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? Uh, let's see. What would be good? It's none of your business. I was already in bed before Millie woke me up. You're making too much noise. My birthday is coming up. I was already in bed. I was in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You bird ran watching. off. <laughs> I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll. I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing, it's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? A little bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. <laughs> it wasn't in the original draft, <laughs> No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. <sighs> you owe me rent. I could be the mean landlady. I guess I'll just go alone. Do we really have to do this again? Okay, so you've made your point. I guess I'll just go alone, into the night. Hope no one stabs me in the back. Fine. I guess if I come along, they're going to stab me instead. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What? I don't mind getting stabbed. Like, all sorts of bad things. And there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie. The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. They've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route, but I think that's been closed off too. They? Millie and the Paper City Orchestra? No, no. Paper City's Paper Mache, Mache Association? No. Wine and Cheese of the Month Club? No, no, no. Bird Watchers of the World? Paper City Cantaloupe Enthusiasts? No. I, hmm. It was none of them. It was, um. No. Was it? I'll go um, with this. Yeah. Million the bird watchers of the world? What? The BYO is here? But they all went north last month. <laughs> it's yellow cardinal season and an early start. I mean,. What? I never heard of those guys before. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. That was it. I know how much mugshot you don't like boys. Them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs. They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. 
I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man. Yeah, it's a just completely black and white red. setting. What he did, what's this about a red man? And was asking questions about me. He's asking I questions about you? This. What's so interesting about you? Hey, I'll have you know, there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Yeah, Millie there are really people that find me. her interesting. I can't leave anything Not me. Will you help Brothers. Me Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along. And I'm still I actually like the teddy bear a lot more. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Your hat, your nose, she loves you, my brother. Uh, your hat? Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. What? Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for Whoa. me. Whoa! I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. <laughs> the now smirk he just gave. Oh, oh! All right. Well, I'm gonna continue this in the next episode. That smirky game, just calling her his assistant, was just beautiful. Oh man, I love this. I love this already. Till the next time, I will see you guys later. And thank you guys so much for following along. Um, till then, see you then.